So I've completed all three challenges for the first three quests on Nightmare, Nightmare Mode. Mode. With a free to play account, a level 4 count S. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can do it too. So we're coming in with the first quest. It is the Spear Goblin quest. And we'll just quick have a quick look at the challenges. Win the battle 3 and 0. Perfect game. All your units have survived. And kill your 7 enemies with your hero. And you're going to be able to do all these three missions inside, like in one battle. So in, in, in three rounds. So it's that easy. So all you need to do is follow my placements and follow my upgrades with my minis. And you'll be able to do it as well, guys. That easy. So for the first round, you just want to place your Countess in the middle like that. And just leave her there by yourself. And the Countess, level 4 Countess as well. She'll be able to go to them Spear Goblins. Take them out without dying. Not a problem. And then that's two units. Your heroes knocked out. That easy. Boom, there goes a the teleporting round. Dealing with them two Spear Goblins. And there's two enemies your heroes knocked out. And you haven't lo lost a unit yet either. So we're in the second round. We're going to look for our Mega Knight here. Because he's the, he's the key mini for this mission. And the healing ranger. So fetch on the Mega Knight. You want to two star your Mega Knight with Skyfall. And the Earthquake. So you get the bigger surface area. With the additional stun duration. So just put your healing ranger at the back of the board there. Just to put life back into your Mega Knight. Two star your Mega Knight, place him there, exactly where I've placed him, and place your Countess to the left of him, and it's that easy. I know he's going to take a, a, a shot off the Spear Goblin, but it doesn't matter. You want him there so he gets to stun more of the Spear Goblins as the round progresses, like so. Stuns two Spear Goblins. Countess takes out another Spear Gob. Healing Ranger puts life back into your Mega Knight. You get another stun off that Mega Knight. Countess taking out all them Spear Goblins. That easy. You've not lost a unit. You've taken out seven enemies with your count S. And you've you've won two rounds out of three. So easy dubs, guys. So the third and final round. Place your Mega Knight in the center. Count S just behind your Mega Knight. Up upgrade your healing ranger with the extra life. So it's an, an additional two life. It's putting back into units. Place your archer there, just in front of your healing ranger. And you only want a one-star archer with a with the attacks and additional target upgrade. That's all you want. I know we've got two elixir left over there with four rerolls. But we want to make sure our Countess takes out the three Spear Goblins. So we don't want to do too much damage to the Spear Goblins. And that's it. Line your minis up like this. Two star Mega Knight at the front. Countess behind. One star Archer behind your Countess. And that one star Healing Ranger right at the back. That's the setup you want. We'll go into the, into the round and let it progress. So the Mega Knight again does take a shot off the Spear Goblin, doesn't matter. Stun's going to go off with the Mega Knight, gets all the Spear Goblins bar, that one at the back. Countess teleports to the back Spear Goblins, we're up to seven enemies taken out by your hero. And she's going to take out the final Spear Goblin. That easy, you can get them challenges done in one phase, just like that. Coming up on the, on the screen there, win the battle 3-0, which we've done with ease. Perfect game, all your minis survived, which they did, thanks to that Mega Knight and the Healing Ranger. And KO 7 enemies with your hero, and we managed to KO 8 with our level 4 count S. So we're here inside the second quest, and the challenges that are available on this quest is win the battle 3 or KO 9 enemies with your hero, and less than 3 units getting KO'd. But with this tutorial, none of your units should get KO'd. So we're coming in with this setup for the first round. Mega Knight at the front on this tile. Countess just behind and the Healing Ranger right at the back. So that's the setup we're going for. Just copy me, like I said earlier on in the video, guys. And you should be good to go. So we've got the Mega Knight, Countess, the Healing Ranger. They've got the two-star Spear Goblin, two-star Knight. So the Countess just doing work there. Gonna go to the back of the board, and that does count as a KO when you take that elixir battle out at the back. We've got that healing ranger putting life back into the Mega Knight. Count S taking out three enemies inside the first round, and we haven't lost a mini yet. So that's the first round done and dusted. So easy. You'll get these challenges done in, in one in one match, I guess, guys. So we're going on with the upgrade to the uh, Mega Knight and the extra dose to the healing ranger. Additional life with that spear toss. We do fetch on the archer, but we do sell this back off. And we're going to look for the two-star Mega Knight. So we've got the increased surface area with the Mega Knight and the additional stun duration. And that one-star healing range at the back, which gives additional life with a spear toss. We're just going with this sort of setup again, guys. Just keeping it the same. 
you go for the same setup and the same upgrades. So we missed the spear tosses there from them spear goblins. Mega Knight going to get his stun off. Just stun just about every mini on the board. Countess goes to the back towards that elixir. Healing Ranger putting life back into the Mega Knight. Countess teleporting around the map, taking out these minis. That's seven minis already taken out by the Countess in two rounds. And we're up to eight minis KO by the Countess. Going into the third and final round. We haven't lost a single mini yet. So we do change it up a little bit with the third and final round. We place the Countess just to the left of that Mega Knight at the front. We fetch on the Archer. We do two-star the Archer up. We go for the attacks and additional target and the boast upgrade. But we leave the Healing Ranger as it was and the Mega Knight as it was. There we go. I'm going for that boast upgrade on the Archer there. Go with this sort of setup, guys. Them sort of upgrades. Two-star Mega Knight, two-star Archer, one-star Healing Ranger. And just watch the magic happen. And easy, easy dubs with these challenges. We miss all them spear goblins. Countess doing countess things there. Stun goes off from the Mega Knight. Healing Ranger puts life back into our Mega Knight there. Stun goes off again. Countess flying around the board. Healing Ranger putting life back into the minis. There we go. Easy dubs. Just as easy as that, guys. Countess, Mega Knight, Healing Ranger. So good for these first couple of challenges. Just coming up on screen there. Win the battle 3 0, which we did. No problems there. KO 9 enemies with your hero. We actually knocked out 11 minis with our hero there. And less than 3 units getting KO'd. And we didn't lose a single mini with this sort of setup. So we're here inside quest 3. Let's have a little look at the quest. So we've got win the battle 3 0. KO 7 enemies with your hero. And less than 3 units getting KO'd. Which means we can lose some minis throughout the 3 rounds. Up to 2. So it isn't too bad there. But like I said, guys, following this method with my placements and start upgrades will make sure you get this done within the three rounds so you don't have to keep repeating it. So we're coming in with this sort of setup and that Ice Wizard is such a key carry to this mission here. So we're fetching on the Ice Wizard at the back, just behind the Countess there. Mega Knight on the centre lane, just at the back. Countess beside him. And we're coming in with the upgrade to the Ice Wizard where it, the Frostbolt hits all nearby enemies. Frostbolt hits all near by enemies because we want to slow that knight and the mini pecker down. So just to make sure we don't lose a mini in the first round. So we go with that setup. Go with that upgrade to the Ice Wizard. And I drop him back just a little bit because that Mega Knight's got that upgrade where it forces your minis to attack him first. Just gives you them a couple of seconds. We can see the Ice Wizard slowing them units down. Letting the Countess teleport round. So we come through the first round. We get an enemy KO'd with the Countess. We win the first round and we don't lose a mini. But it was really diff it was really difficult, this uh, quest. With a level 4 count, I must admit, guys. But I did get this method down. Should work for you if it did work for me. And like I said, this ice is such an OP carry throughout this. So we fetch on that healing ranger. We fetch on the um, wizard. And we go for the healing spear with the additional plus 2 health from the healing ranger's spear. And we go with this sort of setup. Like I said, just set them out like I have with the same upgrades. And you should be good to go, my friends. So we go with this sort of setup. That Mega Knight just... Uh, sorry, that Mini Pekka at the back does lock onto my Countess. But not a problem because we've got that Healing Ranger there putting life back into her. Ice Wizard are doing a nice job there. For, uh, slowing down them units. My Healing Ranger popping off. There we go. We haven't lost a mini. We've got three heroes KO, uh, three minis KO'd with my hero. And we still haven't lost a round. So it's all hands on deck for the third and final round. So we go for the uh, effects a large area with the Mega Knight. And it isn't to try and get his ability off. It's just to give him that extra life with the upgrade. That's why we went for the upgrade with the Mega Knight. And we go for that additional upgrade on the Ice Wizard where he drastically slows enemies. So we've got the two star Ice Wizard. We've got the one star healing ranger, the one star mega knight. Like I say, the, the start upgrade for the mega knight just gives him extra health to make him survive a bit longer. That was the that was the thought process with that upgrade. And I didn't know whether to fetch on the spear goblin or go for the additional upgrade of the wizard that deals four four bonus damage with the wizard. Just to try and weaken the units to let my countess teleport around the board and finish them off. So I do fetch on the spear goblin and I do resell it. And I do go for the um, fireball upgrade 
with the with the wizard there just to get an additional damage four bonus damage to these units and we go with this sort of setup so the round kicks off we've got the ice wizard target and multiple units my wizard target and multiple units countess teleporting around the board we do lose that mega knight not a problem because we can lose up to two units healing ranger doing a good job there my ice wizard slowing all these units down just enough for my countess to be able to get around the board finish all the units off and we get all three challenges done in one round. And they come in there. We'll just have a quick look at them there. Got them all done. Win the battle three, you know, which we've done no problem. Kyo, seven enemies with your hero. We got seven out of seven with this method. And less than three units getting KO'd. And we, we did lose two units, but we were allowed to do that, my friends. Which isn't isn't bad, if you ask me, for a level four count S. And no three star minis. So that's how I done. The first three quests with all three challenges on Nightmare, Nightmare mode. mode with a level four count S. I haven't got all my minis unlocked either on this free to play account. That's the best I could do. And it should work for you if it did work for me, if you copy my placements and upgrades. But if you did like this video and find it somewhat helpful, consider drop me a like. You want to see more Clash Mini content like this, tips and tricks, guides, sneak peeks, updates, all the juicy information. Make sure to subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.